people, this is Harry, or Popoli, and today I'm bringing you another episode of How to Feed the Beast. This time we're going to be showing you how to build slash charge a uh, mining laser. So first, you're going to need the basic cutter. I'm, I'm also here. There's yeah, Chris is also here. I'm you're going to need the basic invisible. cutter. Yeah, you're going to need the basic cutter to start off. We'll get in how to craft these later. Then you're going to need the um, forge hammer. And then, with the forge hammer, you're going to have to put it next to an iron ingot and create an iron plate. Then, the basic machine casing is... You need it for pretty much every machine except the advanced one. It's just eight iron plates. Then, you go on to the copper plates, exactly the same as iron plates, just with copper. And then you use your cutters to get that. You get an insulated copper wire. Put a piece of rubber next to it, you get copper cable. And then, you can use that to create an electronic circuit with that you can create your first compressor this you this is basically you need this machine to get the mining laser then you have to create some bronze um, and with that you need bronze plates and tin plates and then you can get some mixed metal ingots now you need this this is where the compressor comes in you need the compressor to make these mixed metal ingots into uh, let's just wait a minute do, 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 do. On. <laughs> it takes quite a long time. There are these things called overclockers that make it really fast, but yeah, and yeah. you can charge it with a high voltage solar array yeah. or bat box. That's and that what gets you advanced alloy. And then with that, and then with that done, that's part of the um, mine laser complete. So then you get this, which is an electronic circuit lapis, stone and redstone, gets you the advanced circuit. Another part of it done. And then you have to use the macerator. We haven't actually shown you how to craft this because it wasn't necessary. And what you do is you have to put a diamond in there and you get diamond dust. You need four diamonds to make the um, energium gust dust, which is used to make the energy crystal, which you apparently can't cook in a furnace. Um, okay, well, you have to compress it, actually. Okay, well, it's a good thing we made that compressor. You're going to need it for another thing. And you can press that to get da -da -da, an energy crystal. And that creates you your mining laser. Then you can use the MFE to charge it up. Well, I think you can use a bat box, but no, you can't use a bat box, in fact. Let's just check. You cannot use a bat box to charge this. You can't click it in. So you have got to use the MFE or maybe the CESU, but I don't think so. So as soon as that's charged, um, what is that? Milk. You, you <laughs> I was trying to get rid of my potion, <laughs> but okay. You click, you click M. You click M to change it, but I've got it set to G. Uh, yeah, you might want yeah. to change the controls because M is also your map. Yeah. So it's it's G plus right click or M plus right click. Change the mode. And whoa. So mining is basically your mining. Can you not do that, Chris? <laughs> Mining just destroys oh. one uh, a bunch of blocks at a time. It just goes through and destroys it. And then with um, low focus, it destroys one block at a time and it takes a nowhere near as much energy. Oops. And then with long range, as the name suggests, it just goes a longer range. It goes straight through trees. Yeah, and also the lasers go through glass. Yeah. Horizontal, this is my um, favorite one. You can't shoot it down shoot it across and it goes straight across. This is the best for mining. Um, Superheat, this smelts the stuff that you hit. It just smelts it. So as you can see, it's smelting it. Uh, let's find a good example, I guess. Cobblestone? Can you place down a piece of cobblestone, Chris? A couple. Cobble. Uh, I'll just place some stone down. Oh, no, but you can't cut stone, can you? Ah, oh, fine. Uh, <laughs> Alright, okay. But it, would work, it works for ores and... Um, Stone, it just turns it into stone and then you fire it and you get stone. It's pretty cool. And another of the modes is scatter. Now that one just sends off a bunch. It's pretty inefficient. It's just used for the destruction. Explosive. This explodes. And then we're back to mining. So that is basically the mining laser. It is a very useful tool. I recommend low focus or horizontal for mining. Scatter for fun. And explosive for destruction. So yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Hello people, this is Polite, and today I'm here to welcome you back to another episode of Feed the Beast 
Let's Play series. This is episode 2, and I've come back today with a very, very full inventory. 